Good morning, everyone. Dana with the OT Guide. So today I'm gonna go over two super fun and super simple ways to make a little uh, shaker toy, rattle, maraca, whatever you wanna call it, cute little musical instrument, uh, depending on the materials you have at home. This is a cute craft you can do at home uh, with your little one. So the first way to make one, we would use a paper plates, stapler, and then dried beans as a filler. You could also use dried rice. If you don't have those materials, you can also use a paper, uh, a toilet paper roll and rubber bands and paper. Again, filling it with dried rice or dried beans. A super cute craft you can do with your little one. They will enjoy, enjoy shaking it around. So let's get started. So the first way I'm gonna show you how to make a shaker is with paper plates. So if you don't have paper plates at home, feel free to skip ahead in the video where I show you how to use a toilet paper roll. Okay, but step one is we're gonna have our little one, our preschooler or our toddler decorate these paper plates. Uh, have them scribble or draw pictures or draw a picture of a person to practice their uh, pre-writing strokes. Have them peel stickers and decorate and, and put stickers on the paper plates to practice their fine motor skills. Um, have them squeeze glue and glue on tissue paper to challenge their hand strength. Get creative, the possibilities are endless, but have them decorate both of these plates. The next step after the paper plates have been beautifully decorated um, is putting the beans or the rice inside. So if you're using beans, have your child pick up a couple at a time and put inside each of the plates to challenge their uh, fine pincer grass. Um, if you don't want to have them do that, you can help them practice pouring the beans into the paper plate. Whatever suits your fancy. You do not need a lot. And then the final step, you are going to staple the shaker together. So you have beans in one plate, you're gonna put the other plate on top, and you are going to staple the perimeter of the plate, uh, making sure none of the beans fall out. And voila, your little one has made a shaker and they can make music now. If you do not have paper plates, no worries. I bet you have toilet paper rolls. And what you're gonna do is step one, you're gonna have your little one decorate the toilet paper rolls. So have them color it, have them put peel stickers to challenge their fine motor skills and put stickers on, have them glue pom-poms on to challenge their hand strength. Uh, you get the idea, have them decorate this part and be as creative as they want. Once your toilet paper roll is masterfully decorated, you are going to take a piece of paper, I cut a piece of paper into a small square, and you are going to have your student, you might have to help them, wrap a rubber band around the paper so it's stuck to the toilet paper roll. Manipulating rubber bands is wonderful fine motor practice. But again, pretty tricky for our little ones. So it looks like this. Next, you are gonna place beans inside of the shaker. Again, you can have your child practice picking up one at a time or a couple at a time to challenge their fine pincer grasp. Um, you can have them pick up a bunch and have them practice palm to finger translation as they transfer one at a time uh, into the shaker. Or you can have them just practice pouring a few in. Last step, we are going to seal off the other side of the shaker. So you're gonna take your small piece of paper that you cut, wrap it around the toilet paper roll, and use, uh, use rubber bands to connect. And voila, easy toilet paper shaker. Mm -hmm. 